I'd like to talk about symmetry. And when you say symmetry, I'll write that word down, symmetry. Symmetry is very important to pay close attention when you're taking a test to the patterns that I showed you earlier. Hey, pay attention to patterns. Well, symmetry. I want you to take your hands, take your hands, have your thumb meet your thumb, and look at your hands. Have them in front of you. Now, turn your hands slowly to you, where the palms are facing the palms. Is your little finger in the same place as the other little finger? Yes. Is your fourth finger in the same place? Yes. Is your third finger in the same place? Yes. Is your forefinger in the same place? Yes. And is your thumb in the same place? Yes it is. Well, it's like a mirror. This thumb is looking at the thumb. This finger is seeing this finger. This finger is seeing this finger. And this finger is seeing this finger. And this finger is seeing this finger. That is symmetry. When you're able to see the same thing in front of you. This hand can see this hand. Symmetry. Symmetry. The thumb is where the thumb, this finger is where this finger is, this finger is where this finger is, this finger is where this finger is, and when this, this finger is where this finger is, this finger is where this finger is, this finger is where this finger is, and when you turn them to look at each other, they're the same, they see the same. Maybe I can make you see it even a little more vividly. I'm going to take a sheet of paper. I'm going to fold that paper in half. I folded it in half. And creased it. Now, I folded a whole paper in half and I'm going to draw the crease so that you can see it. After I folded the paper in half, there was a crease in that paper. It was a whole paper and I folded it in half and this side of the paper and this side of the paper are the same. Same. That's symmetry meaning the same. In language arts we say synonyms. Words that mean the same. Okay. Synonyms. Symmetry. Well, Let's look at symmetry on the overhead. I'm going to draw a, well I don't even need to draw the square, I have it right here. I have a square, I have a rectangle, excuse me. And just as I folded the paper in half, I'm going to draw a line in the center of this rectangle. I drew a line in the center of the rectangle. Okay? So, if you would, this side, if you would fold this side up, this side would look exactly like this side. This side would look like this side, and this side would look like that side. So, if you were asked this question, is this line a line of symmetry? Does this line divide this rectangle so that this side looks like this side? And say you had A, yes. You had B, no. You had C, not at all. And on your Scantron, you have the A, the B, and the C. And the question is asking you, is this line a line of symmetry?
Your answer would be A. You would darken in A. Yes, it is a line of symmetry. This line here is dividing this into equal size. And once you fold them, fold them like I folded the paper, you would have symmetry. So your answer would be A. Let's look at another example of symmetry using the rectangle once again. Now, the first line that I drew went horizontal, but you can also have symmetry going diagonally. When I say diagonally, I'm saying this. But before, you draw a rectangle and draw a line just like this. And we're going to come back and I'm going to ask you, is this symmetry or is it not symmetry? See if both are mirror. You can fold a piece of paper and see if it will be the same when you come back. Right now we'll go to a PSA, but draw your rectangle, draw your line, and we'll come back with the answer and see if you have the correct answer. Is it symmetry? Yes or no? Right now we'll go to a public service address. Did you figure out that question? Was it a line of symmetry? Yes or no? Well, let's look at it. Go back to the overhead. We have the question. A would be yes. B would be no. C would be not at all. Not at all. And you have your scantron with B. Circle A, B, or C. Well, the answer for this one is no. B. Okay. If you would fold this half over to that half, it would not equal that. Okay. So the answer would be no. Okay. Now, one more example of symmetry, and we're going to move on to naming some other terms that might help you during your math times. We're going to talk about symmetry once again, but let's look at symmetry with triangles. Even though we do not have the same colors, I'm going to put on the overhead, let's look at the overhead. We have a big triangle that looks like a diamond kind of and we're going to turn it this way. Now, let's ask our question. Is this symmetry and the line is right between the two? Is this symmetry? Join them together. The line is there. Let's imagine this was red. Well, if we take the blue and go over the line, it will fit right on the triangle. So is this symmetry? Yes, it is. It will fit right the triangle. Right here, we turn it over, fold it. Like we folded the paper in the middle, let's fold this triangle. Fold it and bring it over. It's folded. And once it's folded, it is resting right on the triangle, therefore, and if you fold, take the blue, and you fold this one over, you have the same triangle. So, yes, this is symmetry.